So talking about tokenization taking hold, uh, what are your thoughts on Facebook's new crypto coin? I don't even know if it's fair to call it a crypto coin because it isn't completely decentralized in many ways. There's still a lot of details to be determined mm -hmm. here on, on what, um, what is decentralized, what's centralized. Uh, what we do know as of now is that they've gotten a consortium of partners together, uh, which includes some of their advertising partners, uh, companies like Spotify, uh, companies from the financial services sector like PayPal, uh, Visa, MasterCard, which are very interesting because you could argue that they're competitors uh, for payments, mindshare, and usage. Um, but they've gathered together a group of companies to, I believe, make it look and appear uh, to be not so centralized, that they're actually creating a new entity that all these uh, consortium members will participate in and kind of govern this new currency, this, this Libra coin, as they're calling it as of now. And so Facebook will be just one of the nodes in that, in that network. And eventually, I believe they want to get to 100 members uh, in this network. Uh, they've all put in $10 million, committed to $10 million a piece. There are also some nonprofit partners, such as Women's World Banking. Um, so they're very much looking to make this appear to be a really global effort focused on kind of banking the, hmm. the 1.7 billion people around the world that are currently unbanked. What I find it really interesting about this too is if you look at Facebook's financials, only 10% of their users come from the United States, 70% uh, are in the emerging markets and developing hmm. uh, markets. However, most of their revenue, almost 100% of their revenue comes from advertising. And it's uh, uh, advertising from those in, in the developed markets. Hmm. Uh, so they're under a lot of pressure if they want to keep growing to figure out a new business model. And uh, we're seeing companies around the world uh, want to get into the banking sector. I've been investing in fintech before it was called fintech in, in, in the, in the mid-90s, late-90s. And um, controlling that spend or being able to participate in some of the fees is, I think, what they're looking at as, mm -hmm. as their next business model. It's very early days. It's going to take a long time to transition over to that. Um, but I think that's very much uh, what they're going for. So Facebook has been facing a lot of scrutiny because of its data collection and also the amount of information it has on users and also potentially the lack of regulation that it faces right now. Do you think them getting into this space uh, without, they're able to do it because they're not becoming a bank in a way, do you think that actually puts a lot more pressure on them in some way or more scrutiny? Well, I think the way they've structured this shows that they're very aware of the potential scrutiny um, around this and, and uh, why they focused on, on putting together this separate entity in Switzerland, mm. which is a, a more neutral place. Uh, they also have more crypto-friendly regulations in, mm -hmm. in Switzerland. That's where Ethereum was uh, was first launched under a foundation model, which is what uh, Facebook is following. And so this is basically an LLC that they created? They created both an LLC, and the plan is to create a foundation, the Libra Foundation, where all of these consortium mm -hmm. members will be members of that foundation. They've also created a separate LLC uh, which is going to actually run one of the nodes uh, in, in this foundation. And they're actually going to create the wallet that the Facebook users will interact with. So if I want to send money through my Messenger app, uh, I could do it through a third party blockchain crypto wallet, mm -hmm. or I can do it through Facebook's wallet. So that's where they're going to start collecting information on, on their users and go through the standard KYC process that banks mm -hmm. actually require. I'm curious to find out how, what you think this is going to do for the crypto space, but then also what this is going to do for the US dollar in the sense that is this actually more of a competitor against the dollar than it is, let's say, against Bitcoin? Well, I view all cryptos as uh, eventually taking some mindshare away from fiat. I've never been one of those people who believes that you know, Bitcoin is going to take over the world. But if you give people alternatives mm -hmm. uh, in terms of transacting, and, and this could be governments or it could be the individual,
there's going to be less reliance on the U.S. dollar. So you're already seeing countries look at issuing their own um, sovereign digital currency. Uh, you're starting to see trade regions exploring that. And a lot of it, I think, is motivated by decreasing reliance on any one currency or any one standard. And right now, it's really the U.S. dollar. And uh, so, so I do believe any alternatives in hmm. terms of payment um, uh, are, are potentially a threat to, to fiat currency in general. I mean, we're moving towards cashless societies hmm. all over the world. If we look at what happened in China with, with WeChat, China had the most unbanked uh, people in the world. Most of these unbanked people are um, in, in, in the developing markets. We look at India and Africa. Um, those countries have the youngest populations, the most people that are going to enter into the global GDP, um, and, and they don't have banks the way we know them. They don't have credit cards. So this is a prime time if you look at the macro perspective, and if you care about GDP growth, there, needs, there need to be alternatives mm -hmm. to the institutions we built in, in the 20th century. I don't think they're going away, but there's going to be more competition. Do you see this potentially getting people more into other cryptocurrencies, or do you see this as a kind of walled off situation? Well, I think the fact that I looked at my LinkedIn uh, feed and there were so many people talking about it who mm -hmm. have not commented on cryptocurrency or blockchain before. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really captured the attention of, of people who haven't been in the mm -hmm. space. And um, I think that's a good thing. At the end of the day, Facebook has over two and a half billion users around the world. 70% of them are in these emerging markets, right? For crypto and, and blockchain technology to realize its full potential, uh, we, we need to have broader awareness, a better uh, user interfaces. Right mm -hmm. now, it's, it's so challenging to go yeah. out and, and buy. I mean, Bitcoin's a little bit easier, but, but still, if you want to buy other cryptos, you have to go through a long process. If you want to hold your own keys um, and, and control your, the, those uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, it, it, it's, you have to remember a long seed phrase. And so I, I view it very much as we're in 1995 internet and I was lucky enough <laughs> to be uh, involved in those early days. And, and so the parallels are very obvious to me. And we didn't have the e-commerce, um, you know, secured, secure ways of buying things online. We didn't have the broadband connectivity mm -hmm. that we have now. We didn't have the mobile connectivity, which has brought you know, all these billions more people online around the world. And, and so we're kind of in that phase with, with crypto. And I can't think of a better way to kickstart awareness around what cryptocurrency is. Mm -hmm. And even if this is just a derivative or one form of it, making people more aware mm -hmm. of, of what this technology can do. It can create faster payments rails, mm -hmm. more seamless uh, transfers. Um, you can program it in a way that you know, Facebook could offer discounts uh, mm -hmm. uh, on advertising to their partners. And there's so many new business models that can be created out of crypto and blockchain technology. And I don't think we've even started tapping into near the potential because we're not seeing the usage yet. Do you see any potential risks from Facebook getting into this space? Is there a fallout of maybe they don't do it right and there is a lot of scrutiny and then that maybe pushes people to stay away from other cryptocurrencies for a while? That, that's quite possible. I think we already are a little bit skeptical about Facebook and the way they handle uh, user privacy mm -hmm. and, and data. And, and so I take a contrarian approach to this, where I, 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 I want to see them try this mm -hmm. and, and, and kind of um, have people ask those questions mm -hmm. about privacy, about they're writing their own smart contract language. Why are they doing that? Um, how, well, how's the governance going to work on validating the transactions? How are the partners, what data are the partners going to see, if any, with Facebook's own wallet, if people are using that to transact, what data will Facebook actually control? They've said they'll allow opt um, or, or 
uh, it will be an opt-in structure, which is very much against what they've done before, which is you have to opt out. Most people don't opt out of things because uh, they don't read the privacy. So I, I hope people kind of hold them to what they're saying and, and, and take a look under the hood as we get more and more details uh, around all these pieces. Um, but I, I think it can educate Mm -hmm. a broader uh, swath of the population on, on uh, what this can do. Um, and, um, and, and we will have discussions on privacy okay. around all of this. Do you envision a future where different companies have their own coins? We have a SoftBank coin and a Twitter coin and different things, or do you see it as being a very limited space? for companies to get into this area? Well, I mean, in, in some ways, we've, we've had coins in the form of like loyalty points. And mm -hmm. you know, it's just we haven't really been able to use them out, outside of a company's four walls. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what will be very interesting to see with, with this Facebook announcement is how are their partners going to get engaged? So they've said you can potentially use uh, the, these Libra coins uh, at a, a retailer or a, a, you know, on another site. Site. And so it's that interoperable piece, and, and then how are you going to get, how are you going to cash out on that mm -hmm. if you want to cash out on fiat? And 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 so um, I, I think this consortium idea and, and getting some of these folks involved, it's it's the first time we're also seeing something go beyond just the, the four walls of a company mm -hmm. and, and see what they can do with partners. I, I think we're still in very early days there. Um, but there's a lot of potential. I just hope they're able to execute on it. Yeah.